One of the most intuitive ways to create hair in Ornatrix is to simply draw it freehand using your mouse or computer tablet. Let's quickly explore how to do this. I start out with my basic model and the first thing I'm going to do is press Ctrl V and uh, select reference to create the model, the object inside the scene that will contain the hair. I'm going to rename it to contain a hair suffix just so that I know in my outliner here in my object explorer that this part is the one that contains the hair. In this uh, new reference object at the top I'm going to go and add edit guides modifier directly so aux edit guides. I don't need to add a guides for mesh or anything like this because we will be drawing our hair completely from scratch. Inside edit guides all I need to do is press this draw strands option which is available when the sub object mode is turned off and after I click this, I can just click anywhere in my model and start drawing my guides. Simple as this. Uh, if I undo, you can see that there are a bunch of options you can select here for drawing the guides. For example, uh, you can change the number of points. So right now we have 20 points. If I change this to a lower number and I try to, do, to draw something crazy, you see that the, the number of points is really insufficient to do this. But if I change this to a really high number, like 100 points per guide, I can really add a lot of detail and it gets captured inside the final guide shape. Uh, 20 is the default number and uh, it usually works alright. Uh, some other options uh, include uh, the ability to select the strand that was just created and also we have an option to create new strands or edit existing strands. So for example if I already draw some guides initially I can click on top of the guide and continue drawing to change or modify the guide's shape. This is really useful when you have existing guides or you want to make some corrections to the guides that you have previously drawn. Using these two options, I can control the behavior of, uh, of creating the guides. So for example, if I uncheck create new strands, when I click on top of an empty spot on the mesh, it will not allow me to create anything, but I can still edit the existing guides. This is useful when you don't want to create something, you just want to edit the guides. And if I click this and then uncheck the edit, edit existing strands option, it will not allow me to edit the guides, but it will still allow me to create new guides. I can also select this draw long surface option. So if I don't have this option on and I create a guide, you can see um, it's better displayed like this. So if I just draw it over the surface, it gets aligned with the current uh, view plane which is uh, useful in many cases but if you're drawing something like fur that stays close to the surface I can use this option to follow the shape of the surface that we're drawing. I can also change the surface distance so by default it's one centimeter or whichever scene units you have available in your max scene. If I change this to a higher number uh, the, the distance that the guide is pushed away from the surface will be determined by the number that you enter here. Uh, you can also choose to, um, to apply smoothing to the created guides, in which case it's going to add a little bit of uh, normalization to the curve. Or if you uncheck this option, it's just going to create the guide directly according to the points that you create. And you can set the, uh, the maximum length of the guide. By default, it's, uh, there is no limit, so you can draw the guides as, as long as you want. But you can change this value to something uh, smaller, maybe set it to 10 or something like this. So when you draw the guide, it's going to limit it to a certain a certain size. This is usually useful to draw shorter fur. Once once you start drawing along the surface, it will only it will only draw shorter hairs. So again, all of these options are are uh, useful for customizing the way that you draw all your hair. And you can uh, toggle them anytime. They get saved together with the edit guides modifier, uh, so they will be remembered next time that you access it. So. Another way to create hair, right now we're only drawing guides, but if you want to create hair, I can, I'm just going to delete this so we have a new instance of edit guides operator. I'm going to add edit guides and on top of that I'm going to also add hair from guides modifier. Right now we don't have any guides, so we don't really have any hair either, but if I go to my edit guides operator here and I start drawing the strands, um, it will start creating some hair according to the way that I draw the strands. Of course I need to turn on the show end result option and now you can see my hairs. So as I draw the second one it uh, creates some more hairs and if I continue drawing for example at the back you can see that now it has uh, three guides to interpolate between so it creates almost a head full of hair. And the more guides that I draw 
the more I can refine the way that the hair looks in particular spots on my mesh uh, and just like before I can always click on existing guides sorry I need to check this option so I can click on existing guides and modify their shape uh, which will also modify the shape of the hairs that get generated from those guides uh, notice that uh, because of some options that are default in hair from guides uh, the hair doesn't get generated too far away from the guides so uh, you can you can really localize the positions of the hair by just drawing a few guides in certain spots so this is a pretty simple and quick uh, way to create hair and or guides or to refine existing guides using freehand uh, drawing of the guides uh, with your mouse or computer tablet